a grand welcome to Parnas Universe and today I'm going to be inaugurating finally my tripod. I'm planning to do a chicken recipe today, a very easy chicken fry recipe. So I thought let me inaugurate um, my tripod. So right now I'm not using, see if you see my hands are like totally free. So I'm going to do the cooking with both my hands. So this was the moment I was like waiting for and finally I hope to get see some good quality video, no non shaky videos and I've also changed the light. I hope you're able to uh, see the brighter side of me and my recipes. So let's quickly get started and I'm shooting this video with a new camera that that is a handicap. So these are the ingredients I need to make the easy chicken fry recipe. So I have half a kilo of chicken which I have washed and this I have marinated with about one uh, teaspoon of plain chili powder, one teaspoon, one one and a half teaspoon of plain turmeric powder and um, uh, some salt to taste. So again you can add chili powder a little more if you want it to be a little more spicy. So that's it. So this I have kept it for marination for about 4 hours. So now we need about 2 sliced onions. We need a couple of cinnamon sticks or dalcini. Here I have about 5 cloves, some oil for cooking, some salt to taste. This is coriander powder about 1.5 teaspoon. This is ginger garlic paste 1 teaspoon. This is curd about quarter cup and this is kasuri methi which I'll be adding at last. So before adding we need to crush it and add for flavor. So this is about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon depending on how much of kasuri methi flavor you want in your chicken. Chicken masala, this is MDH chicken masala. So this is the brand I'm using, MDH chicken masala. So this is about one, one and a half teaspoon again. So let's start. The pan is hot, the kadhai is hot, I'm gonna add some cooking oil to this. I've added about three tablespoons of oil and to this I'm gonna add cinnamon, cloves, onions. We need to saute this. So I'm keeping the flame to the medium and I'll also be adding ginger garlic paste to the onions. I'm going to be adding very little salt for the onions because my chicken already has salt. So very little, like less than half a teaspoon. So the onions are almost done. So now I'm going to add chicken. So we need to fry the chicken very well with the onions and in the oil and also I have added very little salt to the onions because the chicken already has salt. So I've added like very little like less than half a teaspoon of salt to the onions. So now I'm going to be adding the remaining masalas that is coriander powder that is dhania powder. chicken masala. If you do not have chicken masala, you can also add garam masala. So we need to fry this again. This chicken is very soft and tender because I have like marinated this for almost more than 4 hours. So it won't take much time to cook. And this recipe does not have tomatoes. But if you wish to add tomatoes, you can always go ahead and add. We need to fry them again very well. The chicken is like almost half cooked now. Now I'm adding curd. And now we need to fry this again. I've added one fourth cup of curds. This is done. All the masalas are in. And now I'm gonna close the lid and cook this chicken for a good 
20 minutes. This is a very tender chicken, so it should not take more than 15 to 20 minutes to cook. And I've fried it so well. So uh, now I'm gonna close the lid and cook it for 20 minutes. I'm not going to add any water. So let me see the chicken, it's been 20 minutes. The chicken is cooked, it looks completely cooked. I'm gonna stir this once. If you're adding tomato, please do not add curd, preferably. You can, but then it's better either you add curd or tomato. Since I've added curd, that is yogurt, I did not add tomatoes. Let me check. See the chicken, how beautifully it's cooked. So I'm going to close this and keep it for two more minutes. So it's been two minutes, the chicken is completely cooked. Now I'm going to add kasuri methi. So take the kasuri methi in your hands and crush it so that it releases the flavor. And fry. That's it guys, the chicken is ready. This is such an easy recipe, like ready in half an hour, less than half an hour's time. If you want, you can garnish this with some coriander leaves. So, the flame is off. Let's plate this. So that's it guys, you can enjoy this easy simple chicken fry with parathas, rotis, fulkas, puris, naans, anything that you may like. I can't wait to taste this now. It's really nice. Very simple masalas. But the flavors are rich and intense. So I hope you liked this. this I hope you liked this recipe of mine and the quality of the video. Please do comment and I will see you soon with my with, with yet another vlog and a new brand new recipe. You take good care of yourself and bye bye.